Welcome back to AfricaCom 2018, where we are shaping Africa's digital future. Joining me now is the Head of Innovation at Exaro Resources, Diksha Somai Pillay. Hello, Diksha. Hi, how are you? Are you having a wonderful AfricaCom 2018? I am. This is my first time at AfricaCom. It's very overwhelming and enthusiastically exciting. I've uh, never seen so many vendors <laughs> before <laughs> in my life. <laughs> So for a mining company, it's all new to us because we're used to the mining context and the mining conferences. So we know the plays in our industry. So this is a real eye opener. I can imagine. Well, you were participating in a discussion around why and how IoT will bridge the div digital divide in Africa. Uh, what were some of the key takeaways from that discussion for you? So I think the interesting point that we realized is that there is indeed a digital divide. And when we looked at divide, there's an economic divide and there's a connectivity divide. And I had the pleasure of being on the panel discussion with the CEO for Vodacom Business, William Mazimba. And I find that there's this perception from the private sector that is, it's the duty of the telecom industry to ensure that there's connectivity. Yeah. And I think for our side as Exaro, what we decided is that we were going to take that into our own hands. So we were not going to wait for everyone else to bridge this digital divide. And an example would be we decided to do a free community Wi-Fi. So we didn't wait for the telecom industries to come into the communities in which we operate, which is in very isolated regions like Lepalala and Mpumalanga. We said that we want to be um, proactive and we're going to fund the infrastructure and we're going to fund the data costs. And uh, just a bit more on what informed that decision, because as you said earlier, you are in the business of mining, not telecommunications. So our purpose is bettering lives for all in Africa and beyond. And we choose to do that through many mechanisms. So one is through mining, which is our core business, which is energy focused. And then we have adjacency to our business, which is water, energy and agri. And what we're trying to do in those business is to not do the traditional business model for them. We want to be innovative and digital. And that's how we see technologies like Industry 4.0 and IoT playing a role so we could leapfrog in those businesses. And from your vantage point, what are some of the key hurdles that we need to overcome and obstacles that are hindering our progress as far as realizing IoT in Africa is concerned? I think a lot of people don't know the use cases. So there's IoT, but they don't know what they can really unlock it. And it's seen from a very single vendor side where there's a device. If you don't understand the value you want to generate from that device, or the return you want to get, or the business value, or the, or the community value, then you don't know what to do with it. So I always say that, you know, with IoT, it's a part of the puzzle. If you do IoT plus analytics, plus artificial intelligence, then you will unlock real value. So what do you think is the impact that IoT will have on Exaro as well as the mining industry at large? So what we want to do is we want to use IoT to bring into effect the, the conditions of the mining charter. So I'll give you an example. So the mining charter says now we need to have community ownerships. If you go to rural communities where we operate, a lot of them don't have physical addresses. Correct. If you don't have a physical address, you don't have an ID, you can't get a bank account. And then we can't pay you. So we want to use IoT to find and locate the community members where they are and then be able to use blockchain to be able to pay them directly. So the share payments or, or, or the outcomes of the mining charter because now they will be shareholders of our company. So to give them those returns. As well. So that is one of the use cases. And then traditional use cases would be in terms of the operations. So to get throughput and production up to see and visualize our pain points that we have no sight of currently. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of excitement in mining, but this space is exciting, isn't it, for you? I think there's a lot of very exciting spaces. And I think the nice thing about AfricaCom is it doesn't just single out the telcos, because there's the IoT, there's the AI Summit, there's the startup companies. And the startup companies is not very sector specific. So you have your startups in agri, your startups in blockchain. So I think it's a nice crowdsourcing of innovation in one central point. Well, thank you very much, Diksha, for coming to join us here. And I wish you a fantastic rest of uh, AfricaCom 2018. Thank you so much. Fantastic.